Uh, hello, this is Jimmy Stewart. And Maxwell Smart Secret Agent 86. Uh, uh yes. Would you believe 99? Uh, well, uh, would you believe a Romanian belly dancer with a water pistol? Well, uh, yes, Max, but, but I think that we need to read this poem that was the night before Christmas. So if you could hit that button for some background music. Right, Chief. Now, uh, all right, so here we go. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a, uh, 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 what you believe, a mouse. Well, uh, yes, uh, a mouse. Uh, the, the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas uh, uh, soon would be there. The children were nothing all snug in their beds, while visions, would you believe, of sugar plums danced in their heads. Uh, and Mama in her kerchief and, 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 and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a, a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to, to, to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the, the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the, the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a major sleigh and a tiny, would you believe, reindeer. Uh, with a little old driver so lively and quick, uh, I knew in a moment it, was, it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles is coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donna, and would you believe, Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Hey, I do a good sign, don't I? Please, Max. Sorry about that, Chief. Uh, it's dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of, of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, it was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Uh, he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a, would you believe, shirt. Uh, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the, the beard in his chin was uh, as, as white as snow. The, the stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke it encircled his head li like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a uh, chubby and plump and round jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him as in, in spite of myself. A, a wink in his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I, I, I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his fingers aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rode. He, he sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle, uh, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I, I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to you all, and to all, would you believe, good night.
Well, it's back. Sorry about that, Chief. 